All right, welcome back to another performance review video. If you've never seen these, basically I go over some videos that performs really well, that performs really bad, talk to you about the analytics behind the scenes and kind of explain to you what's going on, why people are watching, why people aren't, what might get dropped, what might not get dropped. Does anything here immediately stand out to you? Not really. ReZero has been consistently, consistently hitting an average of like 5K every video, which is definitely great, but Again, this is not really our baseline viewership, right? I think the current baseline viewership, the floor, right? It's not quite this, right? We need to let these videos also cook over a week. But after a week, I expect the average video to at least reach 2,000, right? It's unfortunate that Fate is doing so poorly. And I'll talk about that section in a bit. But it is pretty decent so far. Fate's not doing so bad. It's just mid and mid isn't bad. It's just I hope that these kind of episodes will do better. But let's first check out. Sure, why not check out this one? It's a pretty new one, right? It's the Reezer video about when Roswell just does some crazy shit, right? He literally just stabs. Sorry, there's so many videos that I've uploaded here that I'm, you know, it's clogging the back backlog. But here it is. 672 likes, nearly 6,000 views. So a good like to view ratio is around 10%, right? Five to 10%. Let's see the video. The video itself, amazing. 2.2 times higher than usual. If you look at the revenue, the RPM, fantastic, right? Remember, this number refers to how much money you make per 1,000 views. And RPM, that's high as this and the sad thing is this isn't even that high but for me in the anime reaction niche with the audience that i have which are a bunch of broke children especially not from a place where the currency is strong like united states this is really on the upper end right 396 is fucking fantastic not only that but the uh, uh, the average viewership right it's it's just double it if you actually think about it let's compare two separate series right let's compare is tower of god a good comparison to make right now let's see Cause I want to compare two separate engagement types where the viewership, yeah, 747, right? Look at this, right? It's almost three times. Well, I mean, it's a 54 minute video versus a 27 minute video, but it's nearly three times longer watch time because obviously there's a bigger audience that enjoys this deep analysis commentary for ReZero when for Tower of God, people just want to skip ahead and, you know, just see the fucking <laughs> Rachel scenes or specific moments. What's the revenue? Pretty high! Huh. I expected this number to be quite lower. Because the RPM is determined not only by your demographic, but how long people watch the video for and how many ads they're served. So I was expecting this because it's like um like because it's roughly two to three times smaller, I thought that the same coefficient would be applied to the revenue, but pretty high. This could mean a couple things. I think that. Um, during the seasons of the month, January is the worst performing in terms of ad revenue. Every month, the more there is like different holidays, different things that advertisers are wanting to advertise, there's going to be more money in the ads you get in January because you just had Christmas, New Year's is done. There's no fucking crazy capitalist holidays. It's the lowest like RPM you'll get. Everyone across the board suffers in January, but some months it's way better. And I'm wondering right now, it's just hyped up because of that. This is an, a number that I'm not expecting. Honestly, it should be usually our revenue RPM is stuck around like $1 to $2. But $3 is fucking crazy. I don't know what's going on right now. Uh, looking at the ReZero, let's look at it. Most of it probably is just from the recommendation system, right? There's literally no viewership found through the search engine, which is typical. And if we look at this, yeah. The engagement is just so fucking high, right? People just... These kind of videos are hitting the exact audience that I've prepped my community for. Super sweaty commentary analysis heavy episodes, right? An audience that's willing to sit down for an entire hour and listen to me yap compared to a community where they're just here just for random fight scenes and just watch for like three minutes and leave, right? So this is fucking perfect. A ReZero community is on point. But look at the fucking graph, bro. Look at the average expectations of what the bar is engagement wise in the top line and see that it's just exceeding it. In fact, it just keeps going up. It's like an upward slam versus a downward slam just to show how much the ReZero folks do appreciate and like this kind of content. For the Tower of God video, it actually did pretty well, but look at this, right? People only want to see this part, right? 
It's like all this part, and I don't blame them. Who the hell would want to see this garbage, bro? Tower of God right now is fucking hideous. The anime adaptation is so trash, the, it's not even animating. Rachel is hard carrying these moments. Show some fucking respect to Rachel. Crazy that I'm even saying these words right now. But these new, this new studio that's doing Tower of God has made me appreciate Rachel even more. Now, in terms of... Um, so, I, I try to do something interesting. I've noticed that um, most people... See, the workflow is 6 a.m. PST. I upload Reaser video, right? Every two days. And then we have a day break in order to um, align the season finale to be on the day that season 3 releases. But I've noticed that people don't give a fuck as much about the Echidna videos compared to the Anonymous videos. And it was more prominent when I would upload the ReZero reaction, then the Anonymous, then the Echidna, with break time being the last one. But I guess it doesn't really have anything. I don't know. I, I thought that if I would like push the Echidna video before the Andy news, people will watch it more, and I I think it is helping a little bit, but there's these, you know, upload schedule things that I do just to kind of, like, keep you guys on your toes to see what audience behavior is like. Like, if I have Andy news video first and then a kidnap video, will you just watch Andy news and skip a kidnap? If I upload a kidnap first video, then will you just watch that because you have nothing else to watch and you'll also watch this and Andy news? I don't know. It's just random little experiments I'm doing. Now, let's talk about this video. These kind of videos always do so well, right? Because these kind of videos, they can only do well. Because it's about, not drama, but you don't need to have watched an anime to watch this, right? All these other ones, you need to be watching with story to be clicking onto this video, right? You need to be watching Slime Diaries. But these kind of videos, anyone can watch. And let's see what's going on behind the scenes there. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, 16 people are mad. Oh no, 94.3 ratio. Let's see the comments. Let me hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Where'd it go? Here it is. <laughs> the user of 73%. Yeah, no figure. I wonder if people unsub from it. Yeah, one person left, but uh, two people joined. And anytime this happens, I'm so happy. I genuinely want people to unsubscribe from my channel. I think that this number, 20.8k, is so fraudulent. There isn't 20,000 people all here watching my content. There isn't. The true, at a high end, it's about 5,000. With tourist attraction, it could ha hit up to 10,000. I think that this number is fucking clogged up and this should be half that. I don't like this number. I want 10,000 of you inactive subs to just unsub, but unfortunately, they don't even know that they're still sub to me. That's what happens with a lot of people's channels, by the way. That's why I, I always tell you guys, this number means fucking nothing. This sub count is fraudulent. All that matters is the monthly viewership for long form content and who your current active community is. That's the only thing that matters. Let's see, the people, there's no engagement chart yet because it's still a little bit too new, right? People just finding through recommendation systems. Is there anything here? No, there isn't. Some of these videos are a little bit too new to have this kind of data fleshed out. Let's see. What other video did really well? We talked about the ReZeros. Let's look at a bad Fate video. So, what I've noticed with Fate Zero is I love Fate, but this show is a bit too dry for the average anime watcher. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of episodes where it's just talking and lore about the show and setting things up. And it's... People just can't stomach to watch it. And I don't really blame them, right? You gotta think about, like, the average person. Not, like, the super focus group that voted this in and wants to watch me live, right? Talking about all the in-depth shit there is about Faye. But think about the average person. Do you think they'd be willing to watch an episode where... Little to nothing seemingly happens for them, even though it's all important setup. It does make sense, right? People just want to see just the hype shit, but... It is definitely disappointing how bad Fate is performing on my channel. But, it does make a lot of sense. They want Unga Boonga? Not even. Also, this RPM distance is high for even a bad performing video like this. Makes me think that right now, there is definitely a rising tide lift all boats up situation. 
291 for this kind of makes no sense to me. I thought that this would be like between the one to two dollar range. This is only three dollar range. I think that there definitely is a a bigger incentive for advertisement as advertiser campaigns right now, boosting this number up. Um, the reason I say that people don't actually give a fuck about the unga boongas too is because of shit like this. Like, if people only care about the unga boongas, let's look at these two fate episodes, right? Wouldn't you agree that Kaneth versus Kitsugu, as well as Saber and Lancer versus Caster, is a very exciting episode? I think that these are definitely the really exciting episodes, right? But even then, it performs so average. It's fine. 226 here. Let's look at the revenue here. 239, about the same. Let's look at the overview. Yeah, people just care about just this time alter scene, right? It's just um, a show like Fate. And that's interesting. I don't think that Fate is more big brain or that dry compared to ReZero yapping content. But there also is a bigger ReZero community that I've reached. And Fate just doesn't seem to exist there. I've seen many comments about people not even understanding what's happening in Fate. And if they're not locked in and trying to dissect everything, I guess a lot of these buzzwords, keywords, reality, marble, origin, like that's the root. Like if you're not trying to like actively understand, I have the help of my chat helping me out too. But for the average person, Fate seems to filter out the average person. And it makes sense. I think it makes a lot of sense the more I think about it. Unfortunate because I think this show is fucking amazing. It's just sad that I go on making these like, obviously on the YouTube side it's edited, but the full reactions are like 40, 50 minutes long. I'm talking about like the ideologies. I'm talking about like, the, I'm doing commentary on like the different philosophies and the principles each character has and how it juxtaposes different people and how, I don't know, just doing more content. It's offering more value. But you know what people want? They want a, a, a fucking low effort 18 minute video of uh, Rimuru uh, getting escorted by water guns. <laughs> and, and this, this is the average person show, you know? They do not care about the deep fucking world building and all this philosophical debates and, you know, big brain dialogue. No, it's too much for the average person. The average person wants to see Rimuru get in a tank top and then have a wet t-shirt competition. <laughs> and you know what? If that's what they want, that's what they want. And me being mad or me being upset about this isn't going to change anything. No, I don't really tie my personal like, uh, like I don't take this shit personally, right? I never take any of this shit personally. It's all just entertainment. And you guys are choosing to vote with your own clicks and attention on the series that you want to watch. And I will simply give you that, right? If people aren't watching Fate Zero, it's not a personal attack on Fate Zero. It's not a personal attack on me. It's just the game of the YouTube algorithm, man. And that I just don't have that audience to enjoy Fate. But it's fine. The more I think about it, the more it makes sense. Makin is still doing very well, right? Makin, bro, just throughout the entire season has been very solid. I love this show so much, bro. Look at that above engagement. Like, I genuinely do love this show so much. And the more I watch this, it's just more A1 pictures propaganda. 244 RPM, not bad at all. More A1 pictures propaganda. But is it propaganda, dude? They're the real deal. The studio is fucking crazy, man. They're just so good. I'm just glad that you guys are still enjoying Makian. Might I say that Maki might be even better than fucking Roche today. Now, here's an interesting video, right? Quite often, um, I experiment here and there. The core content is the enemy reactions. But sometimes I'll do a random news article video like this from Chibi, where it says VTuber banned, and it doesn't do as well. But the intention here is to see, did it reach a wider audience? And yes, it did. Look at that. The point of these videos, let me compare you with another video. Like, let's say, let's just compare, like, fucking... I'll just compare the ReZero video, right? Like, what I'm looking for is to always reach a wider audience, because the returning viewers is good, but at a certain point, you run out of returning viewers, right? You need to have evergreen content. 
Evergreen is a buzzword that basically means trying new diversity shit that might reach a different audience, right? If we look at the audience here, ah, it's not long enough to be processed. Let me look at an older ReZero video to see if that's been processed long enough. Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Uh, sure, let's look at this one. So this, let's look at the audience tab. Yeah. I'm just gassed. There is no new audience coming in, right? Because think of it like this, All right? Basically, YouTube algorithm will kind of like, think about like this to be like the audience, right? This is the audience and basically you want to convert all the people in here, like you want to convert all the people here, right? To watch your videos. But after you've converted them and they've seen your channel, you're just working with the people in here, right? There's actually a bigger circle outside that you can't really reach. I'm not sure if this is the best example, but an I'm trying to show you with the illustration that like, once you're locked into the audience like that, that's what this returning audience is. And you need to have content to make sure that returning viewers show up. There's two parts to this. If you just chase after new viewers by doing opening reactions, trailer reactions, you're not forming a community. Those are all tourists. But tourists are essential. Eventually, they will be formed into a community, right? There's like three separate types of audiences. Right? Not every audience is the same. Think of it like this. In the beginning, people will be completely new people that has no idea who my channel is, right? They'll, they just found me through like a popular Roche Today video. An opening reaction. I don't know. This is like the tourist. But the tourist will then see, right? A tourist may be found by making videos like this, right? Sometimes shit just goes fucking viral due to the trends, right? I can't control this. It just happened that everyone was talking about this too on Twitter too, right? Everything goes viral. I can't control it. All I can do is position myself to be in lucky positions. And sometimes you do get lucky, you get bailed out, right? The opening reaction here too, right? There's a lot of touristy stuff, trailers, openings, right? But after you've brought these people in, what you need to then do is give them a reason to stick around, right? By incorporating these polls, right? By incorporating these polls, right? It's community effort. You guys are the one deciding what to watch. We're not reliant on random trends. We're not reliant on new shows to come out seasonally to bail us out. No, we're working within ourselves. And by having tourists show up, right? By having tourists show up and then giving them a reason to stick them around by those community polls, what happens is the tourist then gets converted into someone that's going to be even voting on the polls, right? They're going to be voting on the polls. They're going to be commenting about which anime they want to watch. And the more that they get given this organic community content of anime reactions for animes that people don't even know it's airing right now because we're just doing it within our community. They get a stronger sense of community. They enjoy the content more. They want to support the channel more. And eventually they become like these hardcore zealots, my cult members, right? You guys right now in chat, you are basically here. I know that most of you are just waiting for the ReZero content, but the fact that you've even shown up to the stream means that you're somewhere here right now. But a lot of people don't understand this. This is 100% a cult and I am the cult leader. But people don't, people don't even understand. They don't understand like this, like life cycle of an audience. They don't understand this. They think that like every view is the same. They look at a video that goes 50k views and think, oh my god, the algorithm has blessed me. I'm gonna keep getting these kind of views. No, these are lucky trends and these are all just these people. They only care about a specific thing. And the moment that you run out of Roche Today content on your channel and you did not, you know, give them a reason to stick around, you know what happens? You lose all this shit. They don't go over here. They just go out. It's a revolving door, right? They don't convert you. You didn't give them a reason to stick around. They just leave your channel because all they wanted to see was Roche Daddy on your channel, man. And this is the lesson that I was never able to figure out. 
I was never able to understand this until about last year. That's why so many reaction channels just struggle. So many reaction channels just struggle just trying to post like fucking seasonal weekly shit competing with the big channels. They get drowned out. They don't even know why their content is doing bad, right? It's just like... It, 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 it's, it's a very... Like, and unless you try to really understand what's going on, unless you try to really study the algorithm, you'll never figure this out, right? I didn't understand it for a long time. All I saw was your boy Roshi just covering so many weekly animes and doing well, and I'm like, shit, can I do that too? No, you're gonna get drowned out. The worst thing a brand new anime reaction channel can be doing is just re reacting to random weekly shit. Like, all you have to do is this, right? All you have to do is this to um, basically understand what I'm talking about. Let's look at this. Roche did a reaction. I'm right now bringing up... Jesus, it's me. Mashup. Let's do this, right? I want you guys to look at videos like this where it's mashups. And the reason why I tell you to go look at mashup channels is because most of the times, these are videos that are curated from channels that don't do edited content, simply just full content. Meaning they don't edit, they just fucking... No audio, just shows the visuals or something like that. And sometimes people will just crop this shit from like for example i know for a fact freshest anime does not upload the full thing but this channel has somehow gotten his content most likely from patreon and ripped it off but you'll see all these other channels right aside from your, your boy rock lee and freshest anime a bunch of these channels have no idea what they're fucking doing right let's look at this right this guy just like lists down all these channels and you'll realize that if you go to most of these people's channels you're going to see the same thing, where it's no growth. They're just struggling. They can't fucking grow. All they do is make random fucking weekly seasonals and question why they cannot compete. When they don't understand this. All they have is a revolving door of this. It's just people coming in and people going out, right? It's literally people coming in for Rochtere and the people going out at the end of the season. It's just this loop that happens over and over again without ever reaching this part. And because you never reached this part, and because you never gave them a reason to reach this part, your channel will never grow. Even your subs will increase slowly but surely. You will never get the kind of growth that you need to actually do this full time. But, I mean, I, I tell people this all the time, yet I don't see much people like taking my lessons to learn from it. Because most people are too egotistical or just too close-minded to learn. Or they just never see my videos, but... I mean, shit, I'm just fucking teaching you how to run a fucking anime reaction channel. Assuming you know how to make good content, right? That I can't really help you out with. That's something unique to you, but... That's a long-winded way of explaining what's going on with this stuff. <laughs> New viewers coming in, right? What was I saying before? I was comparing ReZero. I was comparing the different types of content that's going to increase more new viewers coming in compared to content where it's just all about returning viewers. Let's see the next one. Is there anything else that I want to really highlight? <laughs> this kind of pisses me off, right? Again, this video pisses me off, the Slime Diaries. Let's look at... <laughs> let's look at that Slime Diaries. 410 likes, bro. 410 fucking likes. <laughs> I hate you guys so much. I hate you fucking monkeys so much. Why? <laughs> Stop it! Stop! This is such low effort content. I'm just sitting there and be like, <laughs> Rimuru would <laughs> funny. <laughs> Rimuru would. And people just care about it more. They don't give a fuck about the commentary, dude. They don't give a shit. They just want to see Rimuru just fucking dressing up. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. That sells though, right? It's just... I just, I just compare the amount of effort that I'm putting into these Fate Zero episodes, right? The amount of just analysis and commentary I'm giving it. And then I think about the effort I put into Slime Diaries while I'm just like... <laughs> Wood. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> and it just gets all the views. <laughs> Fuck me. Fuck you. It is what it is. Is there anything else crazy? Hmm... Perry has been doing decent. A lot of the um, weekly animes has been quote-unquote falling off. But it is the natural course during a seasonal anime. As long as it's like 
over a week as long as it gets closer to 2,000, which is the floor. I'm perfectly fine with that, right? Let's look at this Rochtere one, man. 7.8k. Rochtere is still fucking doing well, huh? Always a nice del uh, delight when Rochtere pops off. Let's see it. 433 likes. Right? Let's look at this. 433 likes, one dislike, almost 8k views. It's a great episode. I thought that it wouldn't get as much because there was no Wincest memes, but people enjoyed this shit a lot. I'm glad. Let's see. Oh, it peaked in certain places. What happened here? Let's check it out. This is Alia getting baited by Yuki. Let's see, let's see, let's see. The fake actor she planted. Final boss. Ooh. And then the Yuki face. The Yuki face. I've never seen a face like this from Yuki before. Okay, then this must be the Masatsuka face, right? This this gotta be the Masatsuka face then. Let's see it. It's gotta be Masatsuka revealing the face just like Yuki did. Masatsuka got more than Yuki though? It it wow! Masatsuka got more than Yuki. I'm surprised. I thought it'd be the other way around. Masatsuka had more pull than Yuki. Huh. Okay, that, that's, a, that's a delight to know. All right. Uh, classic shit about the recommendations. Let's look at the audience. Yeah, not many new people coming in, but it's fine. Revenue. 247, not bad, not bad, but Roshtere, always Wednesdays, man. It's just clutch, just fucking clutch. It's always been there for me this week and this season. Roshtere definitely has been the anime that is the most popular for me consistently throughout the weeks. After Roshtere is probably... Mm, Tensura, maybe. I think it is Tensura. Tensura has been pretty consistent. Makane has been good in the beginning, but it's kind of a little bit less degree, but Roshitori is definitely number one. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> these videos just always do well. For no reason. No good reason, bro. Four point, like, what a stupid video this is. Just me reading out how long it'd take for people to kill 8 billion people, but like, people just love these stab videos. They just... Something about the format is just so, like, captivating that people just watch it. It's like Subway Surfers. It's a, it's just like they just put this shit on and just turn their fucking brain off and they just watch this shit. I don't know why. They just love it. They, they fucking love these stab videos. Is there a new audience coming in? No. Existing ones. Um, baiting with <laughs> ReZero content. Oh, the I got indefinitely banned on Twitch. <laughs> Yeah, of course, videos like this gonna pop off, right? Yeah, but obviously people also aren't gonna watch it for a long time. They just see the- oh no, they kind of did. They kind of did. A TLDR of this is, uh... <laughs> I got banned for making a bad joke on a day that shall not be mentioned, so I'm on a two-week vacation. I got indefinitely banned, which means permanently banned. And then I wrote out an essay for an appeal, and thank God they accepted that shit. Or I would have been on kick for the rest of my career, man. Lucky, I will now take a mental note to never make edgy jokes on Twitch again. Whether or not you think it's dumb, as in Twitch enforcing those rules, I don't care. This is a game that I need to play. I need to abide by the rules. Also, these kind of videos, this makes me sad. Fate Zero's infamous spinning scene is genius, man. Man, I wanted to do so much fake content too. Just like the amount of ReZero content that you're getting, the extra cut contents, everything around it, more lore, world building videos. Yeah. That's what happens, man. People don't really care about fate in the beginning, and then you try to do this shit. Like, look at it, right? Just just look at the average viewership for like, let's say, you know, even a video like something as good as ReZero will get 6.2, but then you know, the cut content slash the other content, it's, it's kind of like less than half that, right? So if you look at the same ratio, what else would you expect from a show that's barely getting, you know, the amount that cut content gets, right? Look at this. 
2.7 for the Annie's cut content, 2.7 for the actual video where it's Gilgamesh versus fucking a different thing. That's sad. Just sad, man. That's why I'm not gonna commit myself to make more videos on these kind of just more fate topics. I would love to, but the audience just isn't there. It's a terrible idea to just double down on an audience isn't there. Sad. Sad, sad, sad. Is there anything else that I want to really talk about? I think that's pretty much more or less it, right? It's just the repeating of, you know, what's happening right now is mostly just ReZero popping off. And then, you know, cut content, break time. And then there's weekly shows which are hovering around the 2000. A community show will be hovering around 2000 to 3000, right? Uh, a weekly show that pops off really hard will be anything above that range, right? I mean... If you really think about, like, let's say, SAO viewership, it's not so different. If we compare, let's say, Fate Zero to, like, SAO viewership, it's honestly not that different. Like, obviously, these ones, you're going to see 3,000, right? 3.1, 3.4K, but these were just, like, the climax of SAO. If you're looking at some of the other yapping episodes where not much is happening, it's, it's about the same. It honestly isn't that different. So, it's not that Fate is doing bad. It's not. It's honestly meeting expectations for a community show. But the expectations that I had wanted to kind of surpass that. I wanted it to be something special like ReZero, but it was misplaced expectations. And that's what happens when you get a little bit too hopeful and you're in, De in Delulu land and reality hits. What happens when reality hits? You got to adapt. You got to adapt and move on. But hey, that's it from me. It doesn't mean that we can't watch Unlimited Midworks. Just vote it in. If you want this shit to work, vote it in. And we will simply watch Unlimited Blade Works. But that's it from me for this week's or last two weeks worth of performance review. Hopefully you learned something about the YouTube algorithm. I'll see you next time.